told you about a new medical marijuana facility in Jacksonville Beach. Well, tonight we are verifying some claims about marijuana. So that claim do states with medical marijuana laws actually have a decrease in opioid abuse. Julia Janae is in our Verify Center with the answer. Governor Rick Scott declared a public health emergency yesterday, calling Florida's opioid abuse problem an epidemic. Here in Jacksonville, the medical examiner's office told us 544 people died last year due to an opioid overdose, a number unprecedented compared to previous years. Now, a common claim by those advocating for the legalization of marijuana is that cannabis use can help bring down that number. So we set out to verify that claim that legalized medical marijuana leads to a decrease in opioid overdoses. And that, that number two, we will see that result here on the first coast. Now, using that data sent by the states to the Centers for Disease Control, we looked at 29 states that have had medical marijuana laws. 12 of them had their laws on the books for more than a decade. Now of these, nine states, including Montana, Colorado, and Nevada, saw a reduction in opioid overdose deaths after they passed laws permitting some form of medical marijuana. The University of California, San Diego, published a study last year linking the two, and so did the Health Affairs Journal finding that painkiller abuse and addiction dropped 23% and overdoses dropped 13%. Based on the best information available, we are able to verify that states that have pro-medical marijuana laws also reported a decline in opioid overdoses through 2015. We also wanted to know if doctors believe the crisis here at home will be impacted by these constitutional changes. We talked to Dr. of Psychiatry Raymond Palm. He's a medical director for addiction treatment centers here in Jacksonville. He said while there is a correlation between alleviated pain when treated with cannabis, he says the studies don't go deep enough. Those studies have to do with the prescription opioids. But we've now taken a quantum leap from the prescription opioid epidemic, which certainly is a problem. We've now got this bigger problem of fentanyl that's killing people very quickly. So on whether the legislation will have an impact at home, we're not able to verify that. There's not enough data yet to support that claim. These studies also don't research what other issues may arise from marijuana dependency. If you see a claim you'd like us to verify, reach out to us. Send us an email at verify at firstcoastnews.com. Reporting from the Verified Center, Julia Janae, First Coast News. Thank you, Julia.